Welcome to Anatomy in Action. Today we are going to see prostate. Anatomy of prostate. The prostate is an accessory gland of mid reproductive system. Its secretions add bulk to the seminal fluid with the, the fluids from the seminal vesicles and vulvovitral glands. The consistency uh, of the prostate is firm due to the presence of the fibromuscular stroma and the glandular elements are embedded in the fibromuscular stroma. In the females, it is represented by the paraventral glands of skin. The prostate gland located in uh, below the neck of the urinary bladder, above the urogenital diaphragm, in the lesser pelvis. And behind the pubic symphysis. Shape and measurements of uh, the prostate gland, it is inverted cone or terminal in shape. The width is about 4 to 5 cm, length is about 3 cm, anteroposterior diameter 2 cm, weight is about 8 grams. In our body, few structures are having uh, more width than length. One of the structure is prostate. The other structures are Pons and sacrum. The coverings of the prostate or the capsules of the prostate are two in number, true capsule and the false capsule. True capsule is nothing but the condensation of the peripheral part of the gland. It's continuous with the stroma of the gland. It contains no venous plexus. The false capsule lies outside the true capsule, derived from the pelvic fascia. Anteriorly, it continues with the pubo-prostatic ligaments. Posteriorly, it is avascular, it form, uh, formed by the rectovesical fascia, it's called fascia denonvillius. Each side, the prostatic venous plexus are located. Coming to the parts of the prostate gland, it has apex, base, anterior surface, posterior surface and right and left infralateral surfaces. The base is related to the neck of the urinary bladder. The junction of the base of the prostate gland and the neck of the urinary bladder has circular groove which lodges the prostatic and vesical plexus. Coming to the apex of the prostate gland which lies over the upper surface of the aerogenital diaphragm, it is separated from the anal canal by a perineal body. The anterior surface of the prostate gland is narrow and convex. It lies 2 cm behind the pubic symphysis. The space between the pubic symphysis and the urinary bladder and prostate gland is called retropubic space of ridges. It contains the retropubic fat. Its upper part is connected to the pubic bones by puboprostatic ligaments. The lower end of this surface, the anterior surface, is pierced by the urethra. This surface is composed of only fibrous tissue. The posterior surface, separated from the rectum by fascia of denarvillius, near its upper border, pierced by ejaculatory ducts. It can be easily palpated on digital examination through the rectum. The infrolateral surfaces, it faces the uh, levator and muscle and separated by a plexus of veins. Coming to the lobes of the prostate gland, it contains five lobes, anterior lobe, posterior lobe, median lobe, right and left lateral lobes. Anterior lobe, there is a small isthmus which connects the two lateral lobes in front of the urethra. It has little or no glandular elements. It forms adenoma. Coming to the posterior lobe, which connects the two lateral lobes posteriorly, it lies behind the urethra and below the ejaculatory duct. And the adenoma not occur in this area. Uh, it is a primary carcinoma site. Lateral lobes lie on each side of the urethra, the prostate part of the urethra. It contains more of glandular tissue. The adenoma arises in the whole. Coming to the median lobe, 
The median lobe lies behind the upper part of the urethra and lies in front of the edge of the uterine ducts. It produces an elevation in the near the neck of the urinary bladder is called uvula vesicae. It contains more of glandular tissue. It's common site for adenoma. Coming to the structures within the prostate are the prostatic urethra, which traverses through the entire gland from base to apex, and the prostatic utricle and the ejaculatory ducts. The prostatic utricle is the formula for the vagina in female. And coming to the structural zones of the prostate glands are we divide it into three zones, outer zone, intermediate zone and the inner zone. The outer zone contains large ducts and the numerous follicles and the intermediate zone contains few smaller ducts and the few follicles. The innermost mucosal zones having a simple tubular gland so it's more prone for benign hyperplasia. Coming to the blood supply of the gland, the prostate glands are supplied by inferior vesicle, middle rectal and the internal parental arteries. Venous drainage, there is a prostatic plexus of veins lies between the false capsule and the true capsule. The vesicle, uh, the prostatic venous plexus communicates with the vesicle venous plexus. In turn, all are draining to the internal, pudental, internal iliac vein. There is a valvous communication between the prostatic venous plexus and the ventral venous plexus. The communicating plexus is called the Batson plexus through which the prostatic carcinoma spread to the vertebral column and the skull. Coming to the lymphatic drainage, it's mainly drained by the internal iliac and the sacral uh, lymph nodes, partly drained by the external iliac group of lymph nodes. The nerve supply, prostatic plexus of nerves, derived from the inferior hypogastric plexus. It mainly supplies the prostate along with the it supplies the seminal vesicle, carpora cavernosa, spongiosum, membranous and penal part of the urethra and bulbourethra glands. The age changes in the prostate. At birth, a fibromusculostroma with a simple duct system present in the gland. Between the 9 to 14 years, only the size is small increase in size, um, the size alone increased. At the age of puberty, a sudden increase in size of the male uh, reproductive hormones and the growth of the follicles. From 20 to 40 years, the proliferation of the granular tissue progresses. 30 to 45 years of age, the size remains constant and the evolution begins and the amyloid bodies deposit in the prostate gland. In the old age, some most of the people it regress, but few individuals it may increase in size and produce benign prostatic hypertension. <laughs> Applied aspects the prostate is often enlarged in old age due to the hypertrophy and causes retention of the urine because of the obstruction of the prostatic part of the urethra and the inflammation of the prostate is called prostatitis. The removal of the prostate is called the prostatectomy. It may done through transurethral or retropubic. The procedure is called TERP, transurethral resection of prostate. The carcinoma of the prostate spread to the vertebral column due to the retrograde venous drainage of the prostate into the internal vertebral venous plexus, that is backs and plexuses. The prostatic CA is more common in the posterior lobe. Thank you.